Max Fix off the inside in the red helmet colour. Robert Lambert out of gate number two in blue. Freddie Lingwin, gate number three in white. And Dan Bueller going along nicely now. He's off the outside. So here we go. 19. Lambert looking good now after two race victories last time out. So on eight points, looking to build. Big night ahead for Robert now, isn't it? It is. There is uh, every opportunity. Frick, Frick looking to respond after failing to score last time. It's on seven of these points. Here we go then. Heat's up. Number nine. Oh, my oh, goodness. I think it was Dan Bewley on the outside when first, but I don't know if he touched the tapes. Freddie Lingwin did. Yep, for sure. Oh, it's going to be frustrating for Freddie Lingren if, if actually Dan Ooh. didn't touch the tapes. Just when Schmarslick was vulnerable. Ah. Freddie Lingren looking to eke into the 22-point lead. Didn't quite go to court. And that may have just done a massive favour to uh, Marco Schmarslick. This is another look. It's all about the outside two gates here. Green lights on. Oh, no, it's Dan. It's Dan. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a great shame. He's on seven. He might miss out now. Yeah, he will. Well, it's Last totally year's like winner it looks like his night may be completed as a consequence of jumping the start there. Touches the tapes. Freddie Lingwin got a reprieve. Still the opportunity for Freddie Lingwin to close in on the 22-point lead that Smarslik holds. Shame for Dan Bewley. He's had a couple of rides tonight that have been stunning. And then for him to do that, that's a shame. Very rarely see him do something like that, in truth. Very but rare indeed. Clearly feeling the pressure here, but uh, green light comes on. Uh, he's just anticipated it. It was actually quite quite quickly after the green light came on. We know with this computer-generated pause now, there can be some long pauses before the tapes go up. And he's moved far too quick there. So uh, the yellow exclusion light is on. Bewley is out of the race. See young Jason Edwards come out here for his first ride as a reserve replacement for Dan Bewley as a consequence of the tapes exclusion. So that and so we are hearing that uh, Robert Lambert will have a warning as well. Disappointment for Bewley, his night could very well be over. Once again, once again, that kind of helps Smarslick. That's another it rider does. that can't overhaul him. Yeah, might get out of jail. Massive, might just get out of jail. Can you believe it? A warning for Lambert then. He was moving. He moved actually quite early. He wasn't looking to the right. He was looking to the left. So he was unaware of what was going on alongside, on, alongside him. It just shows the pressure that all these guys are under. Yeah, Jason Edwards just making his way round to the start for the first time this evening. What a moment that is for a youngster. Anders Rowe was unfortunate after looking like he was going to pick up a second place, but uh, the bike packed up. But for Jason Edwards, a young British rider, racing here in the British Grand Prix in Cardiff. What a moment for him. So heat number 19, Frick looking for points. Robert Lambert going along nice. He's got eight on his last two outings, looking very impressive indeed. Freddie Lingwin has had a tough night, excluded in his first ride has battled back as he normally does. He grinds results out. He's had a win in two seconds as a consequence of that. He's going to need a point at the very least, you would suggest, to make it to the top eight tonight. Well, it's just taking their time to come to the tapes for the second time of us. And we've had a few reruns, haven't we, tonight? It's been that sort of night, isn't it? There's, yeah, everything going on. Here we go, then, heat number 19. Second time of asking. Green light is on, here we go, tapes up. Frick's made it, he's got there, Lambert's alongside him, he stops the run of Lingren, Lingren swaps back to the inside, going to be tight down the back, Sprint. very tight. Lambert's done very well to hold the um, uh, impetus there of Freddie Lingren. Frick's out in front, Lambert looking threatening in second place, here comes Lingren, charging round the outside, searching for more speed, not quite going to get there now, Frick's in front but he's under huge pressure, Lingren again electing to go very wide indeed, Lambert moves out, Lingren then swapping back to the inside now, keep your eyes on Lambert, he's got speed! Yeah, what Frick. a move from Lambert! Oh, Max Frick there, just holding Robert Lambert up. Robert had to do something to get to the front. Electric to ride right around the fence. Lingren now past Frick. It's all happening here, but I tell you what, what a ride from Robert Lambert. Lambert out of his skin, riding out of the top draw there. Superb speedway from Robert Lambert. Lingren's come through in his second place. That'll do it for Freddie. Max Frick fading the longer the race went on and Jason Edwards misses out.
but Robert Lambert, three consecutive race wins for him. He's looking good. And what a stunning ride again. He's got speed, the confidence is oozing. Could he win his first Grand Prix here in the Principality? And we have back-to-back -back British Grand Prix winners here in Cardiff. Well, he's certainly in the semi-finals as a consequence of that race win in Heat 19. Three points for him. Fury Lingren coming through strongly in second place. Two points. Max Frick relegated to third. One point for him. And Jason Edwards misses out in Heat number 19. I think Smarsic's made it. Look at that. Michael Smarsic like hanging on there. It's only Kim Nielsen from the last race. Yeah, exactly. that was So it's still a patient wait for Smarsic. Hold her out in front on 12. Lambert's now moving on to 11. And, uh, nine points for Vasilik and Lindgren. Patrick Dujek going nicely on eight. And he's out in heat number 20. Kim nilsson has got the inside gate, but this was a smashing ride here from uh, Robert Lambert. Really did set about this job brilliantly. And he was under so much pressure here now. Look at that move there. That was a brilliant move, wasn't it, down the back straight? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. He's just, uh, he's, I think he's seen that Jason Doyle move. <laughs> High and wide out in the dirt, and then he puts the uh, front wheel over the curb. But it was fantastic. And Max Rick is fully aware that he's coming. He's had a look over his right shoulder. Surprised he didn't move out a lot wider there to try to cover that move. But by the time he realizes that Robert Lambert has uh, got that speed, it's all too late for Max. Then he has to go back to the inside because he's fully aware that Freddie Lingren's putting him under pressure. He didn't know which way to look, no, did he, Max no. Rick? He, he just didn't have the speed. They were coming at him left, right. It was uh, a tough race for. For Max, but he's picked up a point. He's hanging tough, but he's on eight points. So, uh, okay. Okay. 